the Ghana GPS system. Um, over the years, we've had become accustomed to using landmarks as a means of giving directions for location of property, the blue kiosk, the Wache cellar, the Kofi Brookman cellar, and that big tree at the junction. It become reference points for giving out our locations. Instead of using a church, a tree, or a street store to locate a home or business, the government launched a digital system where every property across the nation has a unique code as its as its address. If you did not know, here are some facts about the National Digital Property Addressing System, aptly dubbed Ghana Post GPS. Well, what we thought would mark the end of an era and the beginning of a new one seems to be dwindling as most Ghanaians are not really using the application. The last time I used it was um, at the time we were registering for the ECOWAS card. So we needed the Ghana Post GPS to uh, generate some codes. So I think that was the last time I used the app. Uh, I used it for my Ghana card. And even uh, clients, when you buy on online, Jumia and other stuff, when you give your digital address, it can come straight to your house. Yeah. Okay. Of course I use it. So what do you use? Oh, I use it for a lot of things. Normally, there is this friend who wanted to know where I stay. But without a GPS address, I couldn't have given him directions to the place. So with the help of the GPS address, he was able to identify, he was able to locate where I stay. Basically, I think it's only for the location. That's the only thing I use the GPS for. Yeah. What I know is, like, it's, it's, you see, as we are going to the Ghana card, they ask for returns, like when someone wants to locate you or something. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. For instance, when I was, I was going to register for my Ghana card, it was a prerequisite, so I had to use it. And also, it's, it's unfortunately, but when someone is coming to where I stay with an Uber car, I give, when I give the direction with the GPS app, the person is able to locate where I am. I only downloaded it because I needed the address to open an account and also the Ghana card, yes, but I don't use it. Well, if you don't know what else you can use the application for after generating um, your digital address code, this is what you can use it for. The Ghana Post GPS app. Many people know it to be just for generating digital addresses and sharing their digital address. But did you know that there are so many other things that it could also do? So besides the Ghana Post GPS app being able to generate a digital address, you can actually access the maps. You can see where you are, the digital address of the location that you are at. You can actually even go into a street view. This uses Google Maps Street View application to show you exactly where you are. So as you can see on my screen, we are Joy FM. So when I go through the Street View app, I can see the Joy FM building right there. And then you can also use it to access your routes through Google Maps and through Uber. So let's say you're going to another location and you enter your the digital address of that location. You can actually go straight into Uber from the Ghana Post GPS app. So Think about it like instead of typing in the address of the location you're going to, which is the address that you probably don't know or the name of the area, you can actually type in the digital address and then go straight into your route and into Uber and it will take you into Uber so you can get to your location. Now besides all this, you can actually save addresses in your address book in the Ghana Post GPS app. So say you went to see a friend and you're sure that you'd probably forget your directions to that location, you can actually generate the digital address to that location and save it in the address book by clicking on the save address button. When you do that, it saves the address in the address book and then anytime you want to go there, just go 
into your address and search for selling arms location and then you get that location to get there. There's an also a uh, space where you can actually scan digital addresses. So you've seen that they've been posting digital address signs on buildings. You can actually go to the camera um, icon on the top left and then scan a digital address and then you can save it. Once you scan the digital address, it gives you all the details of that location and then you can save it. There's also a trick up the sleeves of this app where you can actually access emergency services like ambulance, police service and fire service. So rather than guessing the phone number of your police ambulance or, an, or uh, fire service, you actually hit any of these buttons and it sends your location, your digital address location to these services so they can find you. Okay. And if you want help about how to do more on this okay. app, there's actually a help section, you just hit it and all the information is there. I hope that was enlightening. If you didn't know how to use the app, I'm sure you now do by watching that particular video. Anyways, it's time for us to take a short break and we'll be back with more. Mm -hmm.